I feel like I just want to work and cry. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, I sometimes wonder where my life went so wrong. Ugh. John's your mother's brother? We need to change something. Hey, Tony! <laughs> just a little fork. We're trying to be helpful. Woo! Alright, let's see if we can get this puppy up the road. I'm running anyone over. Yeah, I kind of do what I like right there. You lot didn't see that, right? I don't see it. Um, yeah, here you go. Let's have some of that. Ooh, let's have the track on. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It really is. I'm the king of the job. Good evening Fenlanders, welcome to Monday evening and welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures, I'm Daniel. I will be your host for the channel. Now, if you don't mind, I'd love it if you really thought about subscribing to our channel. It really helps push us along and um, keeps me motivated. So uh, it doesn't cost you a penny, it just helps our channel. If you fancy being a proper Fenlander, you can go and get yourself a t-shirt, which I'm rocking, and a hat. Fenland Farming Adventures line of clothing, or you can go and get a Fenlander line of clothing hoodie, hat, delay, whatever you like. So we're doing a whole lot now. On to today's video. Tonight's video, today's video. After my 270 pound trip to the vets for the dog, I feel like I just want to work and cry. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? A uh, little tiny grass seed in her ear, but I love her, so I have to try and look after her. And I'm sure I had some gloves here somewhere. What are we gonna do today then? Or tonight? Oh, well, I don't know what I've done with my gloves. I had some here somewhere. Sorry, being a weirdo. Not in that tractor. I'm trying to think what other tractor I've been in. Been in this one, but I had my gloves since then. Hmm, no. There's a pair of gloves and that will do. The uh, start of every year, farming year, starts with a good mow round. So I've got the uh, 170 fired up with the mowers. And me and Little Red went and got some irrigators. I got one irrigator pump and one irrigator back in from said field. I got one more pump left out on the field. I'll go and get that back as well. I will we'll strip everything down off of this and open all the valves on it. Oh no, but I won't do that because the battery's gone flat. Oh well, right. I will get this stripped down and I will have a little mow round out the back of the farm when the irrigators live. I can stand it down and not have to worry too much, you know? Which would be awesome. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I sometimes wonder where my life went so wrong. Front mower on, back mower on, windows are filthy. 40170, we'll get a cute old scrub down after we finish doing this. But yeah, we're out mowing that. Some of the wheat there's got drilled real late because there was straw in the way. It's pretty horrible. So I've got a tree down back there that I'm going to have to sort out. Ugh. I will be in the market for a new push out mower at some point. I just bought this one for a, a trial really to see how we got on with it. And uh, I only paid 1800 quid for it. And then it started to fall apart. Grumpy Grandad welded the motor on, welded the roller on, and the bearing's pretty uh, special on one side of the rotor. But it does the job. Yeah, just a trial run really to see if it works properly. And it turns out it does. Oh. Now I've got a big old lump of uh, tree stuck to it, which is delightful. Get off. Oh, there we go, there's a bit of it. Start of every year, starts with a good mow round. I, I've been neglecting the mowing, just trying to like keep habitat for the wildlife, really. I mean, it sounds stupid, but I am a conservationist at heart. I like as much uh, wildlife as I can, really. Oh, there we go, another bit. Any light like, habitat, woodland areas and stuff I've got, which is few and far between. I try and uh, try and leave all the edges to the, the birds and the critters and stuff to all mature if you like. Every now and again, you know, I go around and mow around the field so you know where the edge of the field is. So it works, it works a treat really. Yeah, they put like a little plastic sleeve, like a grease nibble on the side to go around the back of the pulley to, um, to grease the main uh, bearing on it. And uh, yeah, it was just touching the pulley so it just wore out straight away. Um, so it gets greased once a year and that is it. That is the most amount of love she gets. She still does a job, so that's what we're doing. That's my evening for tonight. I'll get this one field mowed round. And John's your mother's brother? All sorted. Then I can get the discs on this field tomorrow and then I'll be ready to drill some mustard. Woohoo! That mustard, this mustard job is taking me freaking forever. Seems like it's taking me a month to drill 200 acres of mustard which it has, I guess, just about. You can see what I'm doing there. We're mowing, doing a bit of moving me. Just see where the edge of the field is there, really, can't I? Don't take long when you've uh, got triple, or sort of double gang on the go. Poor old 170, it's getting filthy. Yeah, I reckon about 3K would be about right. This is gonna be a long drawn out affair. It does look nice when it's all mowed, doesn't it? Uh... Thank you. 
You lot nearly just fell off. A little bit of mowing action there for you. Well, hello, Fenlanders. Sorry, I forgot my uh, camera again. Twice now I forgot my camera today. Today's um, been a long day chasing around after the dog. Took the camera, obviously, mowing. And I forgot it when I went and done some turds with the old fateful 6610 over there. She handles the Larrington lovely, rides a treat. So, well happy about that. That can stay on that tractor now it's fixed. What it was, was a couple of wires behind the uh, seat that were chafing and uh, just put itself in neutral at harvest time. When we broke down with the combine, we broke down with the tractor as well. So, that's bloody handy. I make nighttime look good. And tonight, eight o'clock, I am gonna finish for the day, I think. I will see you in the morning. Cheers, Fenlanders. Good Tuesday morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? Ah, it's becoming quite apparent that uh, this red tractor mark is not really uh, quite a far hassle, is it? What do you guys think? I've had loads of feedback from people on our YouTube channel. I haven't checked the real country file yet to see what sort of comments and stuff are going on on there, but it's uh, really becoming quite apparent we need to change something. I've got to be careful what I say on YouTube because obviously I don't want to upset anyone but I don't want to be ripped off at the same time, you know? I don't really understand what's going on with the wheat price as well at the minute. Uh, that seems to be plummeting at a rate when farmers need it to go up. So the more you subscribe guys, the better it is for everyone involved in farming. You know, we can make a difference. That's my aim for this farming YouTube, is to make a difference somewhere along the line. So, on to today's video. Woo! Up with the larks this morning. Nice and early. I've got a lorry coming in in a minute. He should be here about nine o'clock time. He rang me at yeah, eight o'clock, bang on eight o'clock. I told him I need my beauty sleep so I don't get up very early. But today, Cookie came round. Cookie came round and we've had a little plan with the spuds. So um, I'm gonna take the spuds out, get the top dying off uh, this weekend on Saturday morning. First thing Saturday morning, I'm gonna, or, or maybe Friday night. Maybe do one field Friday night and then the other field Saturday morning. Get them, get them taken out so they have a nice bit of um, hot weather. I always thought that the chemical, if it was really hot, would suck the the, the plant would suck the chemical into the root of the, uh, the, the seeds of the potato, which is a potato, the tubers if you like. I always thought that it would suck the chemical into the potato if it was roasting hot. But Cookie saying no, 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 get it on when it's roasting hot and leave it, let it have it while it's scorching hot. Ugh! Bloody sprayer driver, making ruts everywhere. You know, you know there's plenty of moisture in the ground when the discs are working nicely, so discs have got some bite to them, there's loads of moisture in the soil. I'm gonna try and get this field disc down as quick as I can, and then get the drill on and come up here and drill it as quick as I can. Um, today it's imperative that I get here with the drill, otherwise there won't be any moisture left in the soil at all. So. Yeah, this is doing a lovely job of mixing the mixing the soil around, mixing the stubble under a little bit. It gives the worm something to come up and eat. If uh, you've harvested the field and it's rock hard or whatever, the worms then can't get through that compaction to come up and, and eat the stubble. Because they like eating the stubble. It's very odd, isn't it? But yeah, everything that lives in the soil obviously eats stuff that comes down from the surface. So yeah, I mean, I'm changing tack all the while with this um, tillage situation but we're going to try and uh, get the fields tilled a couple of times before I drill them. Just get them uh, really uh, stale seed bed if you like. Get a nice stale seed bed before the end of October and then start drilling. Tony! Hey Tony! Either Tony's breaking down or he's got a phone call. He was sat out there near the house a minute ago and now he's sat there. Hopefully you're not broken down Tony got myself a bag bowl for dinner today. Woohoo! Yeah, this is my day, really. Cruising up and down. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do again, didn't you? Got to take the bloody camera with me again. Sorry guys, I just loaded a load of wheat, so that's gone off to ADM. Nice lorry driver from MR Airs, is it? Nice bloke, sit there and talk to him all day. Shame I ain't got a cup, uh, cup of tea making machine around the farm, otherwise I'd have made him a cup of tea. And now we go back to our diskin. Of course, it's got warm in here. The only thing I don't like about this uh, tractor is that the air conditioning and the heater control, you have to go past the auto. It'd have been better off putting the auto like at the end of the uh, adjustment, so one press would be just to turn the fan on just to spin, you know? That would be a better idea. I would think, anyway. Hey, is that old mate? No, it's not him. Oh well, get out of his way nicely. Another trailer coming towards me. Looks like one of my cousin Ollie's tractors and trailers coming at us. 
I don't know if you lot can see that. Probably not. No. Very big. Uh, Didn't make a burp of it. Ugh. Yeah, so the heating control, you have to press it twice to get it not on the auto, otherwise the auto just goes spastic. Goes flat out. And I don't want that most. Most of the time I just want a little uh, little waft of air. So maybe they could change that and put the auto thing at the end of the right up. Right up and then auto. Just a little fork. Trying to be helpful. Hey fan landers. Right, we got finished from discing. Just had me docky, big old bowl of uh, spaghetti bolognese, which was nice. What do you lot have for docky? Just some of you have a cooked dinner, oh, like lunchtime. I know that is a thing. Some people have a cooked dinner at lunchtime, don't they? And then they crack on and go back to work. So my cousin Tom's just turned up as well. We're now here with the drill, gonna get that put on, and going and get drilled out what we've got left in the tank. Hopefully, should be all good. Tom's just hooking the uh, terror disc on, on his little New Holland. Normally he drives an 8RX, so I don't know where his life's gone so horribly wrong. I guess they've got loads of them New Hollands. I thought they had 50 of them. I'm gonna get it piped up. I'll be out there. Right, that was fairly quick and simple. Once you get all your um, pipes and stuff all labelled up so you know what you've got, this drill really isn't that difficult. <laughs> says he. All my full valves seem as though they're locked. We're all good. You shave your eyebrows. Shave your eyebrows. Comb your hair. <laughs> you look awfully fat in red, Tom. I'm going to have to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, my cousin Tom. Come in to borrow that. Ugh, wrong one. They got 40 of them tractors. Four zero. Crazy, isn't it? But there, if you're farming 12,000 acres or whatever of spuds and wheat and whatever else you need, lots of trailer monkeys floating around. I think they have nine. I mean, Tom drives a combine, which I'd have liked to have bought off him, but it was only a 2018 and I would never be able to afford that. Not even with my cousin. <laughs> he had a 7700, is it, class? So now he's gone to. Another 77 or 7800 or something, I think they are. So, yeah, I think each combine has three trailers chasing around after, and it's three combines, so there's nine trailers hacking around after after them lot and their combines. It's a big operation, isn't it? I wouldn't even want to fill them up with diesel every day. Get emotional doing that, wouldn't it? Right, back in a minute. Age of security, I've got to shut my gate. i got something else to do as well while we're at it. We might as well while we're outside. Oh, where do you want to sit? There? You don't see what we're doing down here? This thing keeps slipping. I want it on like one, one and a half, two. And it keeps, I keep coming out here and it's on three, so I don't quite know what's going on there. And it's as tight as hell, so. Give that an extra little twerk with my Imperial adjustable. This is Grumpy Grandad's, I've got Grumpy Grandad's Imperial one. You don't want that door open for very long? Jesus, that's hot out there. Woo! Warm! Alright, let's see if we can get this puppy up the road. I'm running anyone over. i got a little bit of drilling left to do on this field, so we'll start on this field and we'll get this one done. Alright. Oh, no. Tony. <laughs> get out of the freaking way! Hey! Good old van driver. Pull it over for me, don't pull over anymore my old mate. Yeah, I kind of do what I like around there. What's it? What's this place called? Belong to me. Thanks, mate. You know, I didn't see that, right? I don't see it. Right, where are we? We're on a different field. I'm gonna put my fan on. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we? Set up. Um, back of Russell. Okay, let's have some of that. Okay, resume work. Yes, let's do that. Oh, it's like. Looks like I drilled this head and Ooh, yay. But I didn't think it was putting very much seed on, so that's one less thing I've got to worry about. Uh, yeah, your headland speed and your forward speed uh, in the field speeds is not that much different, really, from. Uh, there's just a little difference. You just want to slow down a couple of k to get around the corner, and away you go. Let's swap that over. Let's have some of that. Obviously, I'm using my three thousand, uh, seven thousand dome. I haven't got any three thousand anymore. Fan is on. Ugh, where are we? 
Um, yeah, here you go. Let's have some of that. Ooh, I'm turning on the track on. We are drilling. Why is that recording when I lift it up, but not recording when I lower it down? Oh man. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, there we go. Try to do this weird and wonderful thing. Oh no. Why is it recording when I lift up, but not recording when I lower it down? Investigating the figure out there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Okay then. That's a new one. Right, okay. Uh, recording source. That. I don't know. Right, off into the sunset I go, Fernandez. Cheers, guys. I love it when I fit. <laughs> Makes me feel all gooey inside. So, you know, I said I couldn't get my uh, recording device to work. I've figured it out. It is, because I had my spool valve in constant pump, which is a bit odd. But there you go, we figured it out. So, you can't have your spool valve in constant pump and use it as a recording source. <laughs> I mean, bugger, I'm good. Yay. <laughs> Last couple of ends now, my drill won't lift up again, so yeah, now I've got to do that one again. Front of the back of the drill won't lift up now, so I've got to change that. It's obviously worn out, the plunger's worn out, so it stops it lifting up and down. Let's just stop and see how much I've got left in there. You're coming with me. Maybe you like it or not. You run out of battery. Just as I got there to check what was in the uh, hot bar, I ran out of battery. Not putting enough seed on. I calibrated my drill and sorted my drill out the other day and uh, I don't know. Very odd. Oh well, I'm up my seed rating a bit. Let's get at it. See how we get on. Yeah, epoxy thing. I don't know whether it's just got a lot more radish in, in a few bags or whatever, I don't know, but um, it's definitely coming out. And uh, you don't want to be putting a lot on anyway, so putting a bag in, making sure it's done the right distance, putting a bag in, making sure it's done the right distance, putting a bag in, done that for about five or six bags, and then put the last six bags in because I left them up the field, and uh, now it's being a knob. So, I don't know. Right, we'll keep on troshing, Fernandez, and we'll see you in a minute. Cheers, guys. Hello, Fernandez. Good afternoon. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love it if you'd consider doing it. Doesn't cost you anything, just help move our channel forward. I uh, was on 12 on the drill set, and uh, I'm wondering if I just got a lot of uh, big radish seed in there that's not going very far. So I upped it to 18 for a little while, and it seemed to be putting a lot on. So I've compromised now and uh, gone back down to 15. So I'll have some thin bits and some thick bits. The thin bits will still be okay because they're probably only on a nine kilos a hectare and the thick bits will be all right because they're probably on at 11. So nothing too major, nothing too major at all. 11 kilos a hectare, I mean. Am I the only person that wants to drop a rain now? <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It really is. Inch of rain once a week would be lovely. Nice steady rain all for 24 hours or all through the night. But don't even mind if it rains at the weekend. Uh, New toy here on Friday, hopefully Saturday maybe, which will be epic. Might just go out and start using it. Yeah. <laughs> um, 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 um. yeah, all going well. And obviously we've got no Norac, Nor Normac, Normac. Cultivation demo day tomorrow. It sounds like there's going to be quite a lot of people there. Afternoon, Fernandez. Oh dear. Just had me tea. I've had a weird tea tonight. I just had six fish fingers, which was nice. Probably the strangest tea I've had in a while. I'm gonna get rid of the GoPro in the house so I can charge everything up to go out tomorrow. So yeah, just been playing with my new toy. One of my new toys anyway. And it works. Chuffing super by. So uh, uh, Natty Nana's gonna be well chuffed with me because I put straw all over her garden. <laughs> Everything seems to work okay, but the levers are a bit stiff and it hasn't got a stand on it and that irritates me really badly even them big old wet bales i mean i know i've blown it all over my uh, trailer but um i kind of just wanted to see if it worked and it does it's done a nice job really i've kind of tried to cover up my trailer <laughs> look at that look it's like mulch so my plan is i've got some chicken muck coming now bought some chicken muck off the man who's going to deliver my other new toy sorry i'm just putting a glove on just to see what this is like look at that look that is perfect. What more can you ask from a straw blower? 
I think it's going to be a three-man operation. I think you're going to want one person in the tractor with the blower, one person like milling around cutting strings and stuff, and then the other person on the loader. Kind of looks like a big part of um, shredded straw, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to mow the lawn and then we'll do some fixing. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> I lied to you, Ben Landers. I'm going to go mowing for a little while. Let me see if I can get an hour or two's worth of mowing in. Oh, man, it is hot. I am so happy to have aircon. Come on, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields left to mow round. Yeah, Bailey's coming in tomorrow to do some uh, disking for me. Probably a couple of days worth of disking. Next few days, hopefully, I can get the mowing done. Mowing done and the disking, first round of disking done. And then uh, pray for some rain. I think what I'm going to do after we've had some rain is perhaps put my terror disc on and flatten all the fields down with that. Once everything's greened up nice and lush, smash them with a terror disc, then green up again, and then either spray them off and hit them. Yeah, either spray them off and get them drilled or hit them with a six metre vertistat. One or the other, just, uh, just to finish the job off, you know. Just a couple of free rounds of tillage, just to try and, and move the soil around a little bit and get the black grass chitting and germinating and stuff like that, you know. So, a couple of hours of mowing, see how I get on. And then exciting day tomorrow, woo! I might even get back to the yard and then carry on fixing. Um, the uh, straw blower does work, but it needs some fettling, it needs some like a mount for the cables and the cables need loosening up because they haven't been used for a while so they're a bit sticky oh oh it's a squirrel oh no oh, dearly beloved i wonder why i know that was martin johansson called me kind of hard work trying to work two mowers i'm not gonna lie it's pretty difficult you know me i can master it I'm the king of the job. Yeah. Next time I start filming, I'll either be in the workshop doing some awesome stuff or we'll be somewhere else tomorrow. So uh, I'll bring Martin Johnson back and I will see you in a little while. Cheers guys. <laughs>